Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy at your homes. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. Please take out your GK books and let's start, let's start our today's lesson. As you all know that we are on unit number two and today is its fifth lesson. The name of our unit is My Family and Friends. Before starting our today's lesson, let's refresh what we have done in the previous lesson. Quickly answer some questions. How do you behave with your friends? Now, in the previous lesson, we learned all the things about respecting our family members and friends. So, how do you behave with your friends? We behave nicely and respectfully with our friends. Very good. Should we live with peace? Okay. So, if you live, uh, you, if you respect your friends, so do you live with peace? Uh, do you live at peace with them? Or do you fight with them? Yes, we should live with peace. Now, my dear students, before moving on towards our today's lesson, I have a very fun video for you to watch. Quickly, let's watch it. This video is about the past and present life. We will see different, um, different changes in it, okay? Long ago and now. So, in the past or in long ago, people used to travel on horses. They used to ride on horses to move from one place to another. For example, this boy is going on work. He's riding on horse. And nowadays, we use cars to move from one place to another when you go to school or when you go from one place to another. In old days, people used to write letters to each other. As you can see, nowadays people do not like write letters. They send emails from their computers. In old days, people used candles and lanterns for light. You can see here. Nowadays, people use electric lights for lightening their rooms. In old days, people used buckets to get water. But nowadays, we do not use buckets for water. We use taps and faucets to get water. You can see here. In old days, people used to cook on fires. You can see she is uh, using wood to burn. Nowadays, we use uh, ovens and stoves for cooking. In old days, people used brooms for cleaning. We still use broom for cleaning, but we also have vacuum cleaners now. See? In old days, people used to wash clothes with their hands, but nowadays, people use washing machines to wash their clothes. In old days, people used to draw each other's pictures. They do not have cameras at that time, so they used to draw the pictures. Nowadays, they take pictures from the cameras. See? So these are the difference which were, the things were different in the past and now the things are different. For example, we did not have, uh, we, uh, we use lights now and in old times, people do not have electric lights. They use candles and lanterns. They do not have cars. They use horses for riding. So these are the difference between past life and present life. So you have guessed it right. Today we will learn about the past life and present life. How our lives are different from our grandparents and our parents' lives. Let's have a look. So quickly, let's have a look at the SLOs. We have done the first SLO, second and third SLO. We have identified the family members. We have recognized that how we should respect our family members and friends. And you have also narrated the special quality of some of your friends. Today, we will talk about the things that their, your parents did differently in past from today. Talk about some differences in the ways which things were done in the past. So, as you can clearly understand that today we will discuss about past life and present life, okay? How both are different, okay? 
So let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. Allah says in Quran, O believers, fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for the people before you, so that you may become pious. So people used to fast in old times and we still fast. We fast in Ramzan for 30 days. But in the, uh, in the past life, uh, people had different timings. Now we have different timings. We fast from uh, before Fajr till Maghrib. Okay, that's how we fast now. So in the past life, people used to fast and we still fast, but the timings were different. Okay. Before starting, before the reading, let's have some pre-reading questions. Quickly answer them. Have you seen any childhood picture of your parents or grandparents? So in your home, you have you seen any picture of your parents and your grandparents? Old pictures when they used to work, uh, when your grandparents or your parents were kids. Have you seen an old picture? If not, ask from your parents that show me an old picture of yourself when you were kids. Okay? Quickly see that picture. You can pause the video and you can have a look. Now, what did you notice? So once you will have a look at the picture, what you will notice in that picture? We can see a lot of things which are different in those pictures. For example, nowadays picture, uh, pictures are very clear. They are very um, bright. In the old days, they used to be, uh, they, uh, the pictures were used to be black and white. You can ask that from your parents or your grandparents. They will show it to you, okay? Now, let's start reading. Please take uh, open page number 22 in your books. Quickly pause the video and open page number 22. I hope everybody has opened the page. Before starting reading, let's have a look at the pictures given on your book. Here you can see Sarah is talking to her grandmother and she is pointing towards a picture. Here Sarah is thinking about a tractor. So what is happening? Let's read it out. You have to put your fingers where I'm reading and listen to me very carefully. Grandmother, look Sarah, this is your grandfather. Look Sarah, this is your grandfather. Now the grandmother is pointing towards the picture and this is Sarah's grandfather. Sarah, what is grandfather doing? Sarah, what is grandfather doing? Now Sarah is asking that what is the grandfather doing here? Grandmother, he is working in the field. Nowadays, people use tractor for this purpose. Now in old days, people used to have animals to plow the fields. Nowadays, they use tractors to plow the fields. So, you can see the difference between past life and present life. That you can see that Sarah's grandfather used to work in fields by using an ox or a bull. And nowadays, people do not use that. They use tractors to work in the fields. Okay? Let's move forward. Here, there's a picture again. And she's pointing towards the picture. There's a Tonga here. And Sarah is thinking about a car. Now let's see what is happening. Put your fingers where I'm reading. Sarah, Grandma, who is this? She's asking, who is this in the picture? Grandmother, he is your grandfather's brother. Now she is telling Sarah that this man is your grandfather's brother. Sarah, why is he riding on Tonga? Why is he riding on Tonga? Grandmother, he is going to school on Tonga. At that time, there were no cars. So, you have seen another thing which was different in past, that people used to travel from one place to another, they used Tongas. For example, grandfather's brother is going to school on a Tonga. Nowadays, you use cars to travel or buses to travel from one place to another. So this is another difference. Okay? 
So think big. What is the difference between Sarah and her grandmother's lifestyle? Now quickly answer this question. It is very easy. I have told you that there were no tractors at that time. There were no cars in the old time. So these are all the difference between Sarah's and her grandmother's lifestyle. Now quickly think what is the difference between your lifestyle and your grandparents lifestyle. You have to ask your grandparents and they will tell you that. Now your teacher will provide you with a worksheet or you can also do it in your copy. You will write your name over here and your class in this blank. Then which things you think are from past and which are from present. Use words past and present. Okay, now there are a lot of pictures that you can see. You can see a telephone, you can see a car, you can see a candle, a bulb, a hand fan, air conditioner, some animals are picking up the load, then there's a truck and a mobile. Which things do you, th uh, which, uh, what do you th uh, think that the things are used in present and what things were uh, used in the past. For example, this telephone. These telephones are not used now. They were used in the past. So you will write here past. Very nice. Were there cars in the past? No. So they are in the present time. So you will write here present. Nowadays, we do not use candles for lightning. So you will write here past. Now we use bulbs, electric bulbs. So you will write here present. This is very easy. A hand fan. We do not use hand fans anymore. We use ceiling fans. So you will write here past. It was used in past because there were no electricity at that time. Air conditioners. What do you think? Air conditioners were present in the old times? No. So you will write here present. They are used in present times. So people used to um, use animals for picking up load. So in the past times, you will write here past. And nowadays, trucks are used to pick up load. You will write here present. Mobile phones were not present in the past. So you will write here present. Because nowadays we use mobile phones. So this is how you will finish this worksheet. You can draw the pictures. If you have the print form of worksheet, you can also color the pictures. Pause the video and quickly finish the worksheet. Now on page number 24, there are assessment questions. I will ask questions, uh, question number 15, 16 and 17 now as an assessment. Quickly answer. Do the facilities you enjoy were there in your, grand, in your parents' childhood? So, uh, were there air conditioners in your parents' childhood? Quickly answer that. You can ask it from your parents, okay? You can answer in yes or no, okay? So, the things that I enjoy right now, they were not present in my parents' childhood. For example, there were no televisions at, at that time. They used to listen to radios. So these are the difference between my life and my parents' life. Next question. How was the life of your, grandpa of your parents, grandparents in their childhood? So how was the life of your parents and your grandparents in the childhood, in their childhood, when they were kids? How it was different? You can ask it from your grand grandparents. For example, there were no electricity, there was no mobile phone, there was no air conditioner, there was no ceiling fan, so there was no TV. So this is how life was changed, okay? Next, how do you give respect to your family members? So how do you respect your family members? Quickly answer that. Yes, this is an uh, this is this question is from the previous lesson. So you must know this. Yes, you will answer it. Pause the video, think and answer it, okay? How do you respect your family members? Now let's move forward. There's a homework here. 
the teacher will divide you in two groups group a and group b and what is the homework of group a listen to it group a will bring pictures of things used in past and group b will bring pictures of things used in present so the students if you can easily find the pictures which were used in past and the things which are used in present you have to bring those pictures to your teacher in the classroom for example in old times people used to write letters nowadays they use computers and mobile phones for sending messages in old times people used to burn woods for fire nowadays we use cooking range ovens and stoves for cooking so you can you have to collect these kinds of pictures and then you have to take it to your teacher this is your homework only collect the pictures and take it to your teacher very nice now what have i learned today the lifestyle of my parents grandparents was very different than that of mine so today we have learned that when our parents and our grandparents were kids their lifestyle was totally changed from us there were a lot of things which were not present in their childhood okay another thing that we have learned my parents grandparents did not have such facilities which i enjoy today for example there were no computers in old times there were no mobile phones in the old times there were no electricity in the old times no air conditioners in the old times no ceiling fan so there were a lot of facilities which were not present in the old times okay now quickly answer some questions let's so let's wrap up the chapter do the facilities you enjoy were there in your parents childhood i think no how was the life of your parents and grandparents in their childhood so how was the uh, you can quickly ask it from your parents and you can answer it yourself that there was no mobile phone there was no tv there was no electricity in the times of our parents and grandparents when they were kids how do you give give respect to your family members very easy we give respect them by helping them in the kitchen by giving them a glass of water by cleaning our room this is how we give respect now i hope you have enjoyed the video and you have done the worksheet also you have understood the difference between past life and present life so if you have any problem re rewatch the video and do your worksheet keep everybody around you safe have a good day and allah hafiz